Hey class, this is uh, Nick. I'm going to show you guys how to insert an image, a raster image, into your AutoCAD file to use as, as an underlay. I've got my files that I downloaded from Moodle here. Uh, first thing you'll notice though is that they're PDFs and uh, that's a problem because you can't put a PDF directly into AutoCAD. Uh, it won't work. You need it as a JPEG or as a TIFF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the one that I want and I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Then I can choose which which page I want to uh, to extract in uh, in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and look at one of these images that I made. This is page ten, uh, page nine. You can see that that's a very large image. That's 35 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is probably reduce the resolution <clears throat> to 72 pixels per inch because we're working on a monitor. We're not going to print this thing. Um, that knocks it down considerably. The bigger the image, the bigger it's going to be in your file, and the slower it's going to be when you pan and zoom. So you want to try to knock that down as much as possible. But the thing is that this is a very large image, and there's a lot of detail in it. So we do want to keep it relatively big. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this at that. But you may want to experiment with the image size if you find it slows down your file. Um, so again, I, I'm going to choose page 9 and uh, change my settings here, and then click OK. It's going to crunch for a minute. This is my file. Okay, so what I can do is take that, go to save for web and devices, just leave the settings on JPEG, it should be fine. Uh, you can notice that this is going to knock this down to uh, 4 megabyte, that's that's more manageable. And this is pretty legible if, I, if, I'm, if I'm inside the preview window, I, I can see the lines I need fairly well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that to my desktop, okay, and I'm just going to call this Okay, <clears throat> then I'm going to go into AutoCAD, and from here I just say insert raster image reference, and then I'm going to choose my JPEG, just my image in this case. Say open. You can leave. You can see the picture there. And make sure that's the, that's what you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and specify uh, on screen where I want it and how big it is. So you get a little cursor, and you're going to specify where you want it. Maybe you want it at zero zero or somewhere thereabouts. <clears throat> and then when you click it, you, you get to choose how big uh, you want that image to be. And uh, that puts it in the drawing. Okay, so you can sort of zoom in here. And you can see that I get in a fair amount of detail. If you need to resize it later, it's just like anything else. You can you can actually scale it if you want to, that's fine. Um, something else that is important um, when you, you'll notice that when you draw lines over it, your lines might get can be kind of hard to make out like where the where the line is sometimes and where the drawing is. So what we do is you can pick the image, <clears throat> then go into transparency, and you can give it slightly more or less transparency. <clears throat> and so that makes my lines stand out, but I can still read the lines in the image uh, in order to make my tracings. Okay, so that again, you just choose the image and uh, you're going to select the transparency uh, value. Another thing that's really useful to do is to, is to make sure that your image is on a layer. You may actually want to make um, some kind of a layer for the image. Okay, and then you could always go in and lock that layer. You go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to make, make a new layer. New layer. You can right click on that to make a layer and then you just call this image. Choose the thing, uh, the image, and uh, then I'm going to go in and um, change the layer that that image is on. So if I go in, raster image is what I have selected, I'm going to change that layer to image. Okay. And if I go back to my layers, I'm going to lock that layer. So if I go back to the layers that I'm drawing on, so you'll notice that I can't accidentally you know, move it somewhere. Okay, I can select it maybe, but it's not going to. It's not going to act. I'm not going to accidentally select it and move it. I'm not going to accidentally like snap to it or anything like that. So it's good to it's good to put your image on a locked layer uh, when you're editing it. So from here, you can work on the assignment. 
Uh, you can get get your drafted lines that you that you want uh, for your orthographic diagrams. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, good luck. I'll uh, see you in class.